Can Sebastian Vettel finally win at Hockenheim? Will Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes be able to respond to Ferrari and Vettel? And how are the midfield teams going to do at Hockenheim? Find out in this video. So for the first time in two years, we are back in Germany for a German Grand Prix. And once again, like we were two years ago, we are going to be racing at Hockenheim. The race will be run over 67 laps on a four and a half kilometer track. As now it's almost 50 years since the first Grand Prix at Hockenheim back in 1970. With the lap record being a 1.13.7 set by Kimi Raikkonen back in 2004. And with how fast these 2018 cars are, that lap record will be smashed. And the last time we came to Hockenheim in 2016, it was Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton winning. Mercedes did not really dominate that race, but did enough to win from Ricardo and Verstappen. Who knows if this will happen again, but now let's look at how the teams are shaping up for this weekend's race. After the races in Austria and Silverstone, Mercedes clearly are on the back foot. Especially at Silverstone where they were expected to dominate but they didn't. And coming to this weekend's race they have to respond. But do they have the car that is capable of that? Now I do think the car is definitely fast enough to get onto the podium but I don't think it's fast enough to win the race. Of course Mercedes have won the last two races at this track but I don't think that's going to happen again. They're definitely going to have pace for a podium but I don't think they'll have enough for a race win. The championship leader Sebastian Vettel returns home after a brilliant previous Grand Prix. We're at a track where Ferrari were not expected to do well, he won the race. In which could turn out to be a massive turning point in this world championship battle. And with the way that Ferrari car currently is, I'd have to make them favourites for a race win this weekend. One, because I think this type of track does suit that Ferrari car. This Hockenheim track is kind of similar to the circuit in Shanghai. You have your fast corners but also a long straight with a slow braking zone. And back at that Grand Prix Ferrari clearly had the best car. And I do think that Sebastian Vettel will be extremely motivated to finally win at Hockenheim. Of course he has won at the Nürburgring but he desperately does want to win this race. Because his hometown is a lot closer to Hockenheim than it is the Nürburgring. So for Vettel there's a lot of home pride at stake. The previous race at Silverstone did not really go to plan for Red Bull. Because of how fast these 2018 cars are, that track was basically a power circuit. But can they do better than they did at Silverstone? To be honest, I don't think they can because this track also is very, very high speed. The only real part of the track I think they'll do well is the last sector where there are slower corners. But I would say that 80% of the track is high speed, so I don't think they're going to do well. Of course, the last time we raced at Hockenheim, they did finish in second and third. But of course, F1 was different back then, and I don't see Red Bull replicating that. And for the top six in the championship, it is still kind of close coming into this race. With Sebastian Vettel only eight points ahead of Lewis Hamilton at the top of the championship. And then from Raikkonen to Verstappen, it is still very close. So once the race finishes, as ever, the championship positions will swap around again. But now let's go through those midfield teams. McLaren come to Germany after what was quite a good race at Silverstone, finishing 8th and getting some points on the table in their massive Constructors' Championship battle. And according to McLaren, they actually think they've improved, which I have to say I don't think they have. Yes, they're not as bad as they were in France, but they're nowhere near where they really should be. As Fernando Alonso continues to make that car look a lot better than it actually is. And if McLaren are going to get points this weekend, they have to hope that Alonso is on form. And Fernando's going to have to replicate his great performance from Austria and Silverstone if McLaren are going to get any points. Because in qualifying trim, the best I see from McLaren is about 13th. But of course, in the race with Fernando Alonso at the wheel, anything is possible. Not only is it Vettel's home race, it is also Nico Hülkenberg's home race. And if you look at his record at Hockenheim, it's not actually that bad. On at least a couple of occasions, he has scored points and showed good pace. As Hülkenberg really does want to put on a show for his home fans, but does he have the car to do so? I think in qualifying, they're probably going to struggle against teams like Force India, Sauber and Haas. But like Renault did in Silverstone, I'm expecting them to show some good race pace to get solid points. And with Hülkenberg motivated in that Renault, I do think they're going to score some good points. Despite the pace of the Force India at Silverstone not being that good, it was still a good weekend. 
as once again like they usually do they scored some solid points. But I think this race will be tougher for them because teams like Haas, Sauber and even Renault are flying past them in the development race. Meaning that even though at a power circuit where they are expected to do well they don't because simply they're being outdeveloped by those midfield teams. So because of that I don't think Force India have the pace to get some points. Is there really any point in analysing this team? As usual, Williams will be dominating the back row of the field and will be dead slow. And once again, they will not score any points. At this point, this team is just irrelevant. I have to say that the last couple of races for Toro Rosso really have not gone well, where they've had big crashes and also some quite major reliability issues. And I don't think this weekend, sadly, for Toro Rosso it's going to get any better. Because at high speed tracks like Hockenheim they tend to struggle. And from some rumours it looks like Toro Rosso have basically given up on 2018. As Honda now are going to be taking engine penalties to try and upgrade that engine for Red Bull in 2019. So the rest of this year possibly for Toro Rosso is a write off. And so is this weekend. You would have to say at this current point that the Haas car in terms of pace is absolutely brilliant. Ever since the French Grand Prix in terms of pace that team has been best of the rest. And this weekend I do not see that changing. At least for qualifying. Because as we all know in the race Haas do tend to blow it like they did at Silverstone. Having pointless crashes or just reliability issues. So I do think this weekend in qualifying they will be best of the rest but in the race I don't think they will. Because most of the time when it comes to the race they just fail to deliver. But hopefully this weekend Haas will prove me wrong. And last of all is Sauber who just like Haas I expect them to be very fast this weekend. Because with the upgrades they are bringing and with that Ferrari engine the car is just so fast right now. Especially of course at the hands of Charles Leclerc. Now I'm not sure if Leclerc will be able to get into the top 10 but I do think at least he will be close. Maybe you know 11th or 12th place something like that. And if he does start in 11th or 12th then in the race he should score some kind of points. But before I make my predictions for this weekend, let's look at the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari lead with Mercedes in 2nd and Red Bull in 3rd place. Then you have Renault in 4th and a massive battle for 5th between Haas, Force India and McLaren. And those positions are definitely going to change after this weekend. With Toro Rosso somehow still 8th ahead of Samba with Williams down in 10th. But now here are my predictions for this weekend's German Grand Prix and for pole position and the race win I'm going to go for Sebastian Vettel. Because again I think the Ferrari car this weekend is going to be so so fast. And I think with Sebastian having the championship lead and coming into his home race I think he is extremely motivated to win. And it would definitely be great if he could finally win at Hockenheim. Also just to mention that this weekend Hockenheim will have three DRS zones. And I really do hope it makes the racing exciting. Because the last couple races in F1 have been absolutely brilliant. And hopefully this weekend's race does not disappoint. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow with a live stream review of Practice 1 and Practice 2. And a preview for qualifying. As well, don't forget to join the Chaz HDF1 community over on Discord. The link to that is down in the description. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think will happen at this weekend's German Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.